name is Jason Miller. I'm the corporate executive chef for Balducci's Food Lovers Market. Uh, and today we're going to make a potato gnocchi with a truffle cream. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the gnocchi. Uh, what we need to do is we're going to just uh, wash some russet potatoes. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and boil them in some salted water with the skin on. Bring them out. We're going to peel them. We're going to add some flour, cheese, eggs, a little bit of spice, some nutmeg, uh, lemon zest. And we're going to make essentially a, a dough to, uh, to and make these dumplings. Uh, we're going to roll them out into little uh, pillows, and uh, we're going to blanch them. Then we're going to cook them in uh, some brown butter. And to go with that, we're going to make a uh, wild mushroom and truffle cream sauce. Uh, we're just going to um, roast off some mushrooms in a pan, a little bit of mirepoix, some cream, and uh, we're going to finish it with uh, a little bit of truffle oil. What we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of these um, Idaho potatoes. We got them washed and cleaned real good, and we're just going to uh, boil them in some salted water for uh, about 45 minutes until they're fork tender. So we're going to take them. I got some water on over here, heavily salted. It's very important when you're peeling the, or when you're cooking these potatoes. You know, you want to bring the water up to a boil, but you, you don't want it to, to be a rolling boil because it kind of beats your potatoes up. You're going to start to, you're going to, start to lose the skin. So, you know, once it comes to a boil, you can crank it down to like, a, you know, a, a strong simmer and, um, and cook your potatoes that way. So we just have a couple of potatoes here, fresh out of the water. Obviously, you want to make sure, be very careful, you don't want to burn yourself. You can put your potatoes in a little rag if you want. And what we're going to do is we're going to peel these. Skin should come off pretty easy. Okay, we have our, uh, our potatoes peeled. They're still warm. What we're going to do here is we're going to use a, uh, a, what's called a food mill or a ricer. Uh, you could use a spetzel press, anything that you might have laying around the house, but the key to these, these potatoes are, is to not mix them too much. You don't want to put them in a blender or a robocool or any kind of food processor. Uh, you don't want to beat them up too, too much. So we're going to put them in this uh, little food mill here. And now, we don't want to mix this dough when the uh, potatoes are, are piping hot. You just want to let them cool for a few minutes. Um, and what you, and what you want to do is just, just like making a pasta dough. You make a little well in the middle where we're going to add our egg yolks. I have here some grated uh, Romano cheese, some Locatelli Romano, and a cup of just all-purpose flour. We'll season it with a little bit of ground nutmeg. Some salt and pepper. And I'm going to heighten it up with just a little bit of uh, lemon zest. At this point, you, you know, you want to be careful. You don't want to over mix it. You know, you want to be semi gentle with it. But I mean, you're not going to break it. You just don't want to mix it too much. You're going to develop a lot of gluten and it'll start to get tough. Okay, so my dough is starting to form. I'm going to transfer this uh, from a bowl to a board. Just going to put some flour down, just like needing bread dough or anything else. Okay, we got a couple uh, gnocchis here made. Now we're going to get over to the uh, water and just give them a quick blanch. Uh, just basically par cooking them uh, so they're ready to, to saute. The gnocchi in the water and just the telltale sign that they are done is they start to float. So now that these gnocchis are all starting to float, I'm going to pull them out, put them into an ice bath, just to instantly stop the cooking and cool them down. And out of the pot into the ice water, we're just going to uh, take them out of the ice water. We're going to line them on a, just a paper towel so they can dry. All right, we're going to start on this uh, uh, truffle cream sauce. First thing we're going to do is take a little bit of butter. in a medium hot to hot pan. Uh, <clears throat> once the butter goes in, we can turn it up to high. We want the butter to brown, up, to brown up a little bit to cook these mushrooms. See, these are starting to brown up, brown up pretty nicely. 
Back in the pan, we have some uh, onion, celery, and carrots. We're just going to saute that up. Okay, we got our vegetables sauteed. We're going to hit the pan with just a little bit of white wine. Just deglaze that, deglaze that pan. We're going to hit with just a, about a cup, cup and a half of heavy cream. And <clears throat> finally, we're going to finish it with a little bit of white truffle oil. Okay, our butter's starting to brown. We're going to just add our pre-blanched gnocchi into the oil, or to the butter, I'm sorry. Now that we got some good color on these, we're just going to hit them with a little bit of fresh parsley. Just a squeeze of lemon juice. And we're going to call it a day. We have a potato gnocchi with a uh, wild mushroom and truffle cream sauce finished with a little bit of truffle sea salt.